Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, you're gonna be learning how parasites and bacterias can be affecting your hormone levels. Hey everyone, it's me, Amir. If you missed my last video about how cortisol and stress can actually deplete your hormones, please click here. Now in this video right now, I'm gonna be explaining to you guys the crucial importance about bacterias and pathogens and how they affect your immune system, therefore your immune system affecting your hormones. If we look at the uh, chart over here, this diagram I uh, drawn out for you guys, you can see that obviously from our last video, we remember that pregnenolone is your master hormone made from cholesterol. And then pregnenolone will give birth to DHEA and DHEA will give birth to estrogens and testosterones. And obviously remember from the previous video that cortisol will steal pregnenolone when you're under chronic stress. But the situation at hand is, is there something else affecting the cortisol? It may be food, yes, it may be lifestyle, but there still may be an underlining cause going on. And this underlining cause usually comes out to be pathogens or bacteria. Now, for example, you may be infected with parasites such as ringworms or pinworms or you may have bacterial infections such as Candida or Giardia. And your parasites or your bacterial infections affects your cortisol. Now how this happens is very simple. You have a mechanism in your body called SIGA, secretory IGA. It is your bodyguard and think of it as your first line of defense in your gut lining. Now you got SIGA, it's a really slimy mucusy layer right there on your cells. But the problem at hand is when you have infections like this, they actually come and they'll destroy your SIG-A slowly, you know, the lining, mucousy lining, and they're gonna cause your SIG-A right here to elevate or decrease. And that's the situation at hand, what's going on. Your immune system may be really good and it's gonna over elevate your SIG-A. That means your immune system's working on overboard or does the opposite, that your SIG-A decreases and that means it shuts down your immune system. Either way, it's a negative impact on your health. And why this is so crucial for us to actually figure out how to optimize your hormones is this. When SIGA is either dec uh, decreased or increased, it will automatically backfeed your cortisol. So if I jump here, if we're looking at this much more closer, your cortisol is tied to SIGA and your SIGA is tied to your gut and back and forth. As you can see, is a vicious cycle. Sig A will feed cortisol, cortisol will feed back to Sig A, and so forth and so forth and so forth. The number one thing though in common that's gonna happen with this, the end cycle, is cellular death, or I call sickness. No matter which way you look at it, it's a negative effect. Your cortisol, your stress is tied in with your immune system, and your immune system is tied in with your gut. Now you're probably wondering right now, what can we do about this? Like how can we actually fix the situation? Maybe you do have parasite infection. Maybe you do have a bacterial infection. Maybe it's been actually bugging you in back of your head for a very long time. Hmm, maybe this is something I have. Well, how I like to actually approach this is I don't like to guess things anymore. I don't like to say, maybe you have this, maybe you have that. So one of my, or I should say, one of my two most powerful tools I use in figuring out what's happening in your core health is functional diagnostic testing. The number one test I like to do is an intestinal barrier test. With this test, that we're gonna actually measure your levels of SIG-A, we're gonna measure your hormonal levels in relationship, in correlationship to cortisol. So once we see all these levels, we can see, wait a second, SIG-A is here, SIG-A is there, cortisol is here, cortisol is there, and your hormones are here. We can branch out or map out a pattern in your body, therefore actually know exactly what's going on. The secondary test that I absolutely love is a stool analysis test. So we actually take stool samples from your gut and see exactly what pathogens you have, what byproducts these pathogens are making. And based on these results, I can actually make a comprehensive, I like to call it a fluid protocol because there's no such thing as a static protocol, make a fluid protocol to actually heal your gut and eliminate the pathogens and the bacteria. Because at the end of the day, guys, you know me, I always talk about this, you are only as healthy as your gut. If your gut is infected with pathogens, bacteria, destroying your SIG-A, right? And destroying your cortisol, 
therefore destroying your hormones, nothing's going to be w working out. It's always about finding that root cause, looking at the pyramid and at the bottom of the pyramid. What's going on down here? I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. For more videos like this, you know what to do. Subscribe to my channel, leave some comments, and catch me next week.